Hello, welcome to Ian's studio. I'm Ian M. Butterfield. In this video, I'm going to go through the face aware features of the new Liquify tool in Adobe Photoshop. Hi. Adobe recently updated uh, Photoshop and added some new features to it. Uh, one of the most interesting features is that the Liquify tool has now become face aware. Now you may be aware that a, a number of photographers use the Liquify tool to um, improve on um, the looks of, uh, of the models and subjects that they photograph. It's not something I do uh, myself, but I'm aware that some people do, and there are times when it's, it's useful to do that. Maybe your, your subject had, had blinked slightly or uh, a slight grimace, and you may just want to adjust things slightly with the, uh, the Liquify tool. Well, in the past, if we wanted to do that, we had to um, just drag bits of the image around to create effect. Let me show you. I'll go into the Liquify tool. It's the new tool in here, but let me show you. Liquify off the filter menu. And it now opens this special window uh, for it. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what I'm up to here. Uh, and what we used to have to do is use a, a brush and we could do things, I just take this down a little bit, I could just start to tweak the subject's lips for example, make them a little fuller, I could try doing things with the eyes. I'm never very good at doing liquify with the eyes, it always goes horribly wrong but I know some people who can do that. that. Or you do things like adjust the size and the shape of the nose. Anyway, I'm not a big fan of those sorts of adjustments. So I'm just going to cancel all of that. Go back in and show you what these face aware features can actually do. So filter, liquify. And you'll notice when we're in this panel that we've got our image here over on the left hand side, the the standard sort of tools that we've used before over there. And over this side, we've got a number of options. Now it might be when you first come in, the face aware one is collapsed like that. I'm just going to expand it and I'm just going to zoom in on, uh, on our subject. Just control plus to do that because and space bar to uh, that. So I've now got the face filling the screen so we can see what's going on. And what we've got is different parts of the fe features that we can adjust. It's this select face. If you've got more than one face in the image, it would allow, it would allow you to choose which face you're actually working on. We've only got one face here, so face one. And then under eyes, we've got things like eye size. Left and right, so the left eye as we look at it, I can change the size and you see how the eye is getting larger, smaller, uh, zero to reset that. Um, this is the sort of thing which might be useful if your subject's got a slight squint and you need to, to just adjust that. Um, so you could change the eye height in a little bit. Again, We've got all the, the adjustments that we want, but what's really clever is that I've not said anything about where the face is here. Uh, the software has detected the face uh, to be able to do it. I can change the width of the eye. You can see how it brings it in a little bit. So I could, if I wanted to, be really give Michaela a huge eye there. It looks really silly, so I'm going to undo that. We've got the, the option to um, tilt the eye. Now that, that's really scary, isn't it? Uh, moving the eye around like that. But there may be times when you've got someone who maybe have one eye that's not quite straight, and it can happen. So that ability just to correct a little bit 
really useful. Then with the nose, we can change the height of the nose. Oops. And you see how it makes a longer nose or a shorter nose. And the width of the nose, we can make it a little bit uh, narrower, a little bit wider. A slight, a slight adjustment in, that's fine. Then, then we come down to sort of the mouth and the mouth shape um, and the different parts of the mouth. This one's quite scary, really. We can change and make a subject smile. Ridiculous smile, more somber look, and we can change that. We can change the height of the upper lip, make it a little fuller than it was. And the lower lip, make that fuller or smaller. Again, for, prefer for preference. And the width of the mouth, we can make the mouth a little bit smaller, a little bit wider, and the height of it which gives the effect of uh, the subject speaking. Uh, but yeah, you can open the mouth or close it a little bit. It's basically just stretching the mouth that little bit more um, on there. And there may be times when you just want to do that. Face shape. Now the face shape, uh, we can control how much forehead there is. If we want to reduce the forehead in a little, bring it up. And the chin height. This one's quite scary, the chin height, because you can give somebody a really big chin or next to no chin. I find that one quite scary. Um, and then finally, we've got the face width. Now this one, all of the others, I can't see myself using much, to be perfectly honest with you, because it's not the level of editing that I do. But the face width, I could imagine myself using because what this will do is I often get people say, oh, could you just take a couple of pounds off? Well, here we go. A little bit of weight loss on the face or gain. So we can, can just control the width of the face that little bit uh, with this. So that one I could imagine myself using occasionally. Um, but I think in, the t in, in this case with Michaela, how can you improve on perfection? We've got a great model here. Now, one thing just to comment about with the tools, that what we've got here, normally, if I want to reset something like the width, I would double click on the, uh, the label. It doesn't work. Why in this one tool does that not work? Uh, so I can, con I'm gonna have to do it by just using zero to, re to reset everything yeah, on those tools. Alternatively, as I'm not actually going to do anything with this, I could just say cancel. And I'm happy with that image exactly as I shot it. But I wanted to show you about these new features, give you a flavour of what is possible. Just before I close, I want to just talk a little bit about this video. This video I've done more or less in the style of uh, videos which I make available to my Academy members. I have an online Academy, uh, which you can find the details uh, here. And the Academy is uh, a small payment each month where I have exclusive um, uh, resources to help you with your photography, inspiration sheets, um, lighting diagrams, video tutorials, uh, similar to this. Uh, in fact, connected with this one image, I've actually done one exclusively for the Academy members on how I created the skin softening effect for this image, but did it entirely in Lightroom. So if you want to find out more, take a look at the Academy for more videos like this, uh, hints and tips about how to improve your photography. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, um, subscribe to, uh, to my videos, make sure you click that little bell icon, so the little symbols at the side. That means you'll get the notifications when I put new things up there. And please tell people about, my, uh, about these videos, tell them about the Academy. I hope you found this helpful. So until next time, 
keep making great photos and thanks for watching. Bye bye. This has been an in-studio video presentation by Ian M. Butterfield. All content and photographs are copyright Ian M. Butterfield and may not be reproduced without prior permission. For more information including how to subscribe to this and other videos, please visit www.ians-studio.co.uk forward slash videos. Thank you.